Hey everybody, Joseph McMinamin here, here, and in this video I'm gonna be discussing ideas for a plot, story, and character list for La Transformers The Last Night sequel. Now I understand that a few fans out there are creating their own ending to the Bayverse, so now I'm, I've kind of brainstormed how I would think. Some of it, it will be a mix of leaks from someone who claims to be working for Paramount listed in Laszlo Venn's videos and ideas of my own. Now the title I would choose is Transformers the Enhancing Chaos. Now here's the story. The new lead human character is named Jake Barnes played by Zac Efron. He's a police mechanic. He hears his police radio radio about the news and hears Quintessa announcing about the Autobots being criminals to Earth and the Decepticons are welcome. He stumbles upon on lead female character Samantha Cooper who I choose to be played by Emma Roberts. She's a scientist that finds out the Quintessa is manipulating the world's government into building a weapon that's going to kill Unicron. The MacGuffin of this film, of the film, is the Requiem Blaster, and it's in separate pieces across the planet. Elsewhere, Barricade wakes up Megatron from falling out of the sky, and then Quintessa appears through holograms and, and repairs Megatron, giving him new weapons. One being a new arm with two cannons, much like Torn in the IDW comics and the other being the Dark Star Saber. She also supplies him with some of his high-skilled warriors like Cyclonus, Jahaxis, Bludgeon, and Mindwipe, making them plus Barricade his main circle. They first go to rally all Decep remain Decepticons like Berserker, Blitzwing, Skywarp, Thundercracker, Runabout, Runamok, and then swindle vortex and blast off. They go around the entire planet to search for the components of the Requiem Blaster. Our two lead humans, as well as Samantha Cooper's sister, Kirsten Cooper, played by Morgan Smith Goodwin, all hear about Quintessa's plans and Megatron being back. They get pursued by cyber-enhanced brainwashed soldiers, but then were rescued by Lena along with Bumblebee and Hot Rod, since the, other, since the others got exiled by the United Nations. Upon hearing that the Decepticons returned, they call aid from Houndrift and Crosshairs, as well as new Autobots, Ultra Magnus, Springer, Perceptor, and Smokescreen. Cogman also returns, still angry of Sir Edmund Birkin's death. Natural disasters soon happen, and Unicron creates manifestations of himself to fight Optimus until the others come. Um, Decepticons are at Stonehenge, and again, and prepare to kill Unicron. Final battle comes with all Autobots, Odds, Dinobots, and the humans and a massive fight comes between the disasters happening and the Cybertronians fighting each other. Protoforms are also involved in the fight with their fellow Decepticons. Hound is firing at Bludgeon, but, but he keeps blocking the bullets with his sword, resulting in Bludgeon killing Hound. Hard Rod and Crosshairs are shocked, and then Drift was and then Drift was after he, he successfully kills Mindwipe. The three of them charge at Bludgeon, but then get interfered by Runabout and Runamok, only for them to get taken out by Smokescreen and Bumblebee while he was busy with Barricade. Bludgeon's death is similar to Onslaught, but only where Hot Rod also helped kill him. Most of the Autobots go to the Earth's core, and Bumblebee joins after he settles scores with Barricade. They go near Unicron's spark chamber, only to be interfered by Cyclonus, 
with Jahaxis and Blitzwing beat by his side, and he fires a shot at Optimus stating that it's best to leave Earth be and, and to have their lives give out on Earth as it's ne nearing its decay. In order to proceed to deal with Unicron, Optimus charges and hacks Cyclonus to death, and the other Autobots like Hot Rod, Springer, Crosshairs, Smokescreen, and Perceptor deal with Jahaxis and Blitzwing, as well as Unicron's antibodies. On the ground above, Ultra Magnus, Drift, the Dinobots, and the military kill the remaining Decepticons, and then board their ship as Earth is dying. Quintessa and Megatron are already there, and Cogman interferes only for Unicron to kill him. Optimus injures Megatron and then mortally wounds Quintessa, and then Bumblebee gets instantly taken out of the fight. Unicron orders Megatron to kill Optimus, but then he screams out loud that he's commanded by Norman. And then then yells in agony from Unicron's torturing, and he has no more Decepticons. Optimus uses the Matrix, and then it results in Unicron's foot exploding, and Megatron dying from him. It also drains Optimus's life force. Leadership is handed over to Bumblebee, and then Optimus hound Cogman, and and it concludes with till all are one. one so that's a little idea for what I have for her first title story and character list is of of TLK sequel like the regular Autobots, uh, Ots, plus four, four new Autobots, Ultra Magnus, Hauntus, Springer, Perceptor, and Smokescreen. All four Dinobots being present, and anyone I can think of who still remain of the Decepticons. Uh, Hans. Thanks. So, feel free to write in the comments below oh, what your idea would be for title, story, and character list of the sequel to The Last Night. And yes, again, I understand that at a few people out there are, are making their own ending to the Bayverse, but this is just what I can think of. of. So, like I said, feel free to write in the comments below oh, what your idea would be. Hey, this is Joseph McMiniman signing off.